heading into the 2022 season, the talk of the Western Conference was the city of Los Angeles, particularly the Los Angeles Football Club, because of all the offseason moves they're, they're making from the free agent signings. And just it seemed like they had a, a whole lot of money just to give out. And it just seemed like they're just finessing clubs of their valuable players so they can become great in the West. You know, and I was I was one of those main guys that was just talking about LASC, LASC based on just those offseason moves. And then into this season also, but also the LA Galaxy. Because the LA Galaxy, they didn't it didn't they didn't make big free agent moves like the way LAFC did, but LA Galaxy has still been performing good. So for me, at first, it just looked like it was going to be like a collision course between L.A. Galaxy and L.A.F.C. And when it comes to the city of Los Angeles, those two teams still are on a collision course. But when it comes to the Western Conference as a whole, the Seattle Sounders reminded us yesterday that the Western Conference is not going to be dominated by the city of Los Angeles. The Seattle Sounders they not only reminded us of such, but they also put the soccer world on notice. They put the entire nation on notice. They put the entire North American continent on notice. Last night, the Seattle Sounders told us, they reminded us that we are not an average team. We are not some average middle of the middle of the pack MLS team. We are not some random North American team that's just happy that that we got to play in the CONCACAF tournament. We are an elite, great, prestigious, proud organization. We are the Seattle Sounders. That's who we are. We are an elite, prestigious, proud organization. And they reminded us that. You see, that game against NYCFC, it wasn't only about CONCACAF. It was bigger than that. They were going against the defending MLS champion, a defending MLS champion who's not as great historically, who's not as historically great as Seattle. A defending champion who's not even on the same level historically as Seattle. And Seattle had to remind us that. But they also had to remind Liga Mex. They also had to remind the Canadians. Because when it comes to this CONCACAF tournament, it's not only Americans watching, but the Canadians and the Mexicans are watching. So that's why Seattle has to put the North American continent, the North American nation on notice. That's why this game was bigger than MLS. That's why this game was bigger than the defending champions. But it was good that the defending champions, they played the defending champions because the defending champions has been the most talked about MLS team. So Seattle not only beat them, but Seattle dominated them. See, you know, what I want you to understand, if you're if you're similar to me, you've only been watching uh, traditional football for one or two years. For me, this is just my second full year watching it. A team winning three to one is like a traditional football team, a soccer team beating somebody with the final score of three to one is like an NFL team beating somebody 35 to 14. Because it's so hard to score, you beating a, an opponent by more than two, by, by more than one point, by two or more points, that is domination. And that late foul by that NYCFC player, I can't remember his name from the top of my head, but that late, that late foul in the box by that NYCFC player, that was not smart. And that was just frustration. Because NYC FC came into the game thinking, oh, we the defending champs. What has Seattle done in the recent years? Well, NYC FC, if you had that kind of mindset, shame on you because you didn't do your homework. 
Well, let me let, let me tell those who don't know much about Seattle or who think that Seattle is an average football team. Let me tell you, let me give you Seattle's track record. Let me give you their resume. Did you know that Seattle has been the top two seed in the MLS for five straight seasons since the 2016 season? For five straight seasons, five consecutive seasons, the Seattle Sounders have been a top two seed in the Western Conference. Oh, and that's not all. For 13 straight seasons, since their inaugural season in 2009, for 13 straight seasons, they have been a top five seed in the Western Conference. I have, look, let me repeat. Since 2009, for 13 straight seasons, the Seattle Sounders have been a top five seed. I have never heard of any North American professional team. And I'm talking about all sports, not only traditional football. I'm talking about NFL, NBA, MLS, NHL, League of Max. I have never heard of any North American franchise being a top five seed since their inaugural season. They started their season off as a top five seed. And for 13 straight seasons, they have been a top five seed. They have been, they have been winners ever since they started. Oh, and it, it, it doesn't stop there also. They also got two championships, two MLS Cup championships for that. If it wasn't for the LA Galaxy, the Seattle Sounders would be the face of the MLS. If it wasn't for the LA Galaxy having their five championships and being around longer than Seattle, Seattle would be the face of American soccer. And for me, honestly, I was one of those people who was starting to doubt Seattle because I saw how they ended the season last year. It, it, it wasn't impressive the way they ended the season last year and how they got eliminated in the first round of the playoffs. Seattle had me thinking that there's some average team. And then for them to, they started the season off kind of slow, in my opinion. This was the game, though. This was the game where Seattle said, you know, our season starts here. We're in the CONCACAF championship. The defending, champ, the, the defending MLS champ, NYCFC, they think that they're going to win a MLS Cup and then a CONCACAF Cup within a couple months two national championships in a couple months, that's not happening. Not on our watch. And then teams thinking that we're some kind of average team, teams, people thinking that LAFC and LA Galaxy and Portland is better than us, it changes here. It changes tonight. No more. And Seattle let us know. They're letting you know LAFC. They're letting you know LA Galaxy. They're letting you know, Portland, that we're back. The team that has been in the top two seed in the Western Conference for five straight seasons, we're back. A team that has been in the top five seed for 13 straight seasons, we're back. We're back to being that dominant team. And that's why it was good for us to play the defending champs. Because we dominate the defending champs, that's going to shock the entire MLS. And that's, well, it's not really going to shock the entire MLS. It's just going to remind the entire MLS of who we are. So even though we are getting ready for El Trafico weekend, let us not forget about the Seattle Sounders when it comes to this race for Western Conference supremacy.